Time for your daily crypto update with Framework Fortune Crypto. I'm your host, Ben. Now let's dive in. So we got Bitcoin breaking strong over 50,000 a day, breaking out of this triangle, ripping up to almost 52,000. Very bullish move there. So it doesn't look like this bull run is going to slow down at the moment. Now that we're above this, if we can hold on the daily chart for a few days above 50,000, like in this 51,000 area, then we can see Bitcoin push on back up to about this 54,000. Right there in that 54,000 area is some resistance previously. You can see where all those candles are kind of hitting at and sitting on. Of course, 55,000 will be a major resistance line too. So we may run all the way up to 54,000 now that we broke this 50,000 level pretty strong uh, before we slow down. But I expect that 54 to 55,000 to be another point where we had a two weeks, you know, consolidation below that point for another possible breakout. So expect to slow down up there. Ether hasn't broke out yet. You see on the daily chart, we're still right below the 4,000 area. So let's go into the four hour. We did break out of this triangle. Nice bounce there off of this support that we were looking to hold. And it did get up to 39.82, but still a lot of selling pressure at this 4,000 area. So we'll have to see. It is a back above the 10-day moving average, so still very bullish. Now that Bitcoin's broken, I would expect a, I would expect Ethereum to follow behind it and break out in the next couple of days. So because we do have Bitcoin breaking out, we have other things breaking out. OMG right now just pushed up to 862 making a nice little climb this is not really one i've been keeping an eye on but trying to push back up to this previous line of about nine dollars of resistance back here kind of resistance there support and resistance through here support and resistance through there so we're making this big bowl if it can re-break nine we could see omg push back up over 10 and maybe make new highs Looking pretty good there, but this is just a little rebound. This one really hasn't broken out yet, so make it a nice little move so far. Filecoin blowing right through $100, all the way up to $120. Looks like it's going to run into a little resistance there. You can see there's a little congestion back here, but I wouldn't expect $120, 125 to be too tough. It did, it did get rejected at $120, so it, that may end up being a tough line anyway. We'll see. It looks like it's going to pull back to the 10 day, which is down here at 100. And then if we get a bounce off of that, which more than likely we will, we'll see it push back up to those areas. But nice move on Filecoin. So Cardano trying to get back in this triangle, trying to get back ready for a break of three, but getting rejected. You can see right there. So that is a little sketchy. We are above the 10 day moving average. We'll see if it can push up to three or not. If it does not push up to three, then that is going to change my outlook on Cardano because that means we may see it pull back to that 250 area while everything else is running, which would not be a good sign. So still could break out, but having some issues just getting back up to three. Adam breaking up out of this triangle over that resistance of 25 had a nice push up about to the same area. It did, does look like it made just a little bit higher of a high right there. Yeah, it did. At 26.37, trying to hold above this $25 area. If this confirms as support at 25, we'll see Cosmos add them back up to 30 here pretty soon. So Balancer's one that we've been keeping an eye on. It had a breakout up out of the channel that it was in and been climbing up the 10 day. It did go a little below the 10 day there for a minute. But making a nice curl, we possibly could see that pop back up and test 35. Maybe push up to that 40 area. If not, it's going to come back down to this 50 day at 31. CGLD, this one I was just saying yesterday, had not popped in a while. So if you got in here and got this pop up to that 671 area, nice job. It's come back down to the 10 day, but looks like it's going to try to hold. 
if we get another candle if the next candle is green and pushes up over that 575 area we'll see CGLD make another big spike but I did get in this on my Voyager account so I am holding a little bit didn't lock anything out on this rip yet because I think we'll probably keep moving but very nice rip there Dogecoin broke its downtrend and moved back above 30 cents that's going to be because it's following Bitcoin so with that breakout there, we could see Dogecoin push up 35 cents again, maybe even higher. Polkadot poking its head up above this previous resistance at this 33, 34 area, trying to come up and test 35. A little congestion, a lot of congestion at 35, but if Polkadot can break that 35, we could see it back up to 40, maybe even up to all new highs, as this would be a pretty big breakout. And this is a inverse head and shoulders pattern. So shoulder here, head here, shoulder here, and we're breaking out. So if that continues, we actually should see a big rip. We may see polka dot up to new highs at 50. That could be a possibility. EOS, if you are enjoying this one, after I called this triangle for it to break out, I was saying this was been too low and not moving. Plenty of opportunities to get it at $5. It is shot up to $6.22 making its way back up to the 650 area. Almost a similar type of inverse head and shoulders. Not quite as clear as polka dot, but I do think we'll see it up to 650 for a test and maybe uh, push above that. But nice run so far. May have to pull back at the 650 a little bit and consolidate and hold $6 of support before it does test 650. Farm is looking very interesting. If you take and draw an uptrend on this, and we're going to remove all these other lines that's been on here, and then we look for the main resistance line, which is at 300. We are in a big wedge. This is going to probably have another pop up to 300 soon, and then a pullback again to like 275 where it can try to hold a support, and then we might see it break out. It could break out early. But I actually am probably going to start looking for some entries back in on farm. Seeing that it's held up this bottom support of this uptrend. Looking very interesting for a possible massive breakout. Could be a couple of days away. Could be uh, two, three weeks away. But looks like it's coming. Now it also could be a breakdown. If it doesn't break out over 300, it could dump pretty hard back down to this hundred dollar area so it will be a little risky you will want to keep an eye on it because the supply of this coin is super low so chain link breaking out over 30 making its way up to 33 right now there's some resistance in this 33 area it may slow down there and if it does then it'll be slowed down at 35 but nice move so far luna beautiful beautiful luna Pushing up over that 34 area again, testing 35. Luna breaks 35. We are going to see Luna on up to $40, maybe even higher. This thing has been a beast, hitting all new highs. The previous all-time high was 36.97, so break of 37, and we could see it up to 40. The Central Lands mana has been building up, but holding above a dollar here recently. Looks like it's going to try to make another move. There's a bit of a triangle here forming right at this area. 10 days is the bottom of it. So another probably 8 hours we may see mana push on up to the $1.10, $1.15 area. Looking pretty good for a breakout there. So Polygonmatic getting rejected off of $1.75. Uh, after I was saying yesterday it needed to make it to $1.75, it did. That's a good sign of strength. Just needs to continue to hold this 10-day moving average and come back up for another test of 175. Could be a nice breakout up to two coming in the next couple of days. Shiba. Shiba having some consolidation here. And we got a nice little triangle forming there. So that's only maybe 12 to 24 hours away from a possible breakout there. We can see Shiba back up to this 508 area, maybe even higher. Solana hanging out in this 140 area. It looks like it's going to probably try to test 150 again. I don't see why it wouldn't. It's been very bullish. And I think it will at least try to test one more time before it has a real big pullback. So that's all the coins I'm going to cover. We're going to hop into some of the crypto news. 
Web 3.0 is coming and crypto will be essential to it. That is the main headline. We'll see what they're talking about real quick. Yeah, so right here's the bullet points incentivizing individuals to participate in Web 3 protocols and empower society. And they are doing a lot of incentivizing in the blockchain world. There's a lot of money to be made if you just got, start looking and researching a lot of these projects. But yeah, it's just an article, just somebody's opinion on how important they think it is going to be for Web 3.0, and I would agree. So this happened two days ago, and this is stuff we don't want to see happen. IRS sends undercover agent says to bust criminals on crypto marketplace to see if they were actually criminals or they're just considering them criminals. So they're going to great lengths to track down criminals who use cryptocurrencies and dark web drug sales, deploying an undercover agent to work peer-to-peer. -peer. Okay, um, this is kind of crazy that they're undercover and this is on an article. Maybe maybe criminals don't read articles, I guess. He was using apps like Wicker or WhatsApp. So this whole time, all those people with their WhatsApp and Telegrams, man, they might be the IRS. You better watch out. Those Australian police makes record crypto seizure with dark web drug bust. DOJ overlooked USD 500k and forked crypto and Bitcoin bust. Overlooked. Oh, okay. South Korea developing a solution that hunts down dark web crypto deals. Biggest dark net market allegedly exits scams. USD 30 million in crypto. So there's a whole lot of media shadows surrounding the dark web. But decentralized internet is pretty much dark web by their definition. So everything, if you're using decentralized exchanges like PancakeSwap or any of those, Uniswap, or if you're using decentralized financial instruments, that could, could, be, that could be considered dark web. It is good that we are seeing criminals, in my opinion, being taken down. But at the same time, I don't like the news media trying to make it sound like there's a whole bunch of people a whole bunch of criminals that are only using cryptos when that's not the truth the majority of people using cryptos follow the laws and local regulations of their residences so we do want security security is the most valuable thing about cryptos but we also do not want governments trying to use a couple of bad apples as examples of why cryptocurrency shouldn't be used. That's where we don't want to see things go. So other than that, not too much news going on this weekend. It is Labor Day weekend, so I hope you're enjoying your weekend. Stock market is closed Monday, but cryptos are never closed. Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Until next time.